Yo, what is up guys? It's Benny here and uh, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to build this um, western saloon right here. I know it's not like the classic ones where the stairs are in the corner and stuff, but you know it's Minecraft, so you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, and also I know, you know, this dirt and and this sand of wall, this uh, wall of sand, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I know this is, uh, isn't really western looking, but uh, yeah, so... Uh, Anyways, I'll go to my other world and uh, I'll get on with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is start off with the base. It's a little bit uh, on the smaller side uh, in terms of the inside, but it still looks pretty good. So you want to do two blocks like this. Uh, I don't know how many actually, I'm going to just do it by memory. Uh, so I'll put a log here for reference. You guys can also do this. Uh, we'll bu build this up too, one here. Here you'll have windows and you want to have three uh, windows, uh, one block wide, separated by a block like that. So uh, here I'll put another log right there. Uh, so you want to keep building this around here, like this. Like uh, like I showed you guys, the saloon doors are sort of weird, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'll put it here, just like that. By the way, this is all going to be the floor, so don't worry about uh, misplacing blocks or anything like that. Uh, then you, here you want to put uh, stairs like this and then here all around upside down stairs. Then when you get to uh, the door you want to put uh, two more uh, planks like this then your stairs then upside down again. Uh, yep, upside down stair there. And then uh, two whoops two uh, planks like that. So I'll keep uh, building this on over here for quite a ways. I think here would be good. Possibly. Derp. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that every time it derps. Uh, yeah, I think that looks good. And then for the windows I'll have them like this. And then your lock here. So that's um, the porch side done for uh, placing the blocks. And here uh, you want to do this simply because when we'll have the uh, second porch coming out here, uh, you'll be able to see one random oak block, so we're going to change that to that. But if you wanted to, you could keep it oak. It's up to you. This is just my design, so um, derp. <laughs> I gotta say it every time. I won't build this side up just because it's the exact same as that one. And then here, um, depending on how you want to do it, if it's in a mountainside like I did in my uh, at the beginning, like I showed you, or if it's outside, we'll have windows or not. So uh, I'll do that later. But here, you just want to build up the wall all the way to that height, and uh, same thing with that one and that one, and I'll be uh, right back when I do that. So now that all the walls are complete, uh, we're going to take some fence and put it on these upside down stairs pretty much the entire way except for the uh, stairs there of course. I want to build it up two uh, fence posts taller on each corner. And then for here, um, we're going to do the same but there's a little bit of a smaller opening. I don't know if you guys like that or not, but I do so I do it that way. You don't have to, but I think it looks better. Then we'll keep on going over here. God damn it. There you go. All the way to there. And then I actually forgot to put the glass in, so let's put that in right now. Um, the thing with Western buildings, though, is I don't think they did have glass. Uh, if they did, then awesome. If they didn't, uh, you can keep it if you want, or put like fence for windows, but it's Minecraft, so uh, that's what I put. Now for the floor. You'll just take spruce planks and you'll just slap it everywhere. So um, I'm going to do that off camera and also uh, I'm going to do this layer right here off camera. So you just uh, layer it up all the way to the corners here and this will be another floor. So I'll be right back when that's done. So now that we got the floor done and the ceiling done, now we're going to do the uh, second porch or uh, the ceiling of it anyways, so uh, what you want to do is just take your planks, again spruce, and just bring them out, uh, not all the way to the fence post, but one block before, so two blocks out, 
and uh, we'll also uh, put uh, fences, or I mean, uh, whew, I was looking at a fence, I said fence. We'll put uh, stairs, but this time right side up along the entire edge, and I don't know if they did this uh, in on real saloons or not, but I don't think they did. I think the back was just a big flat wall. Kind of looks like a Hollywood set to me. But uh, to add a little bit of dimension, even though it's not uh, true to what Western buildings look like, I'm going to put um, stairs all around here. So, I don't know, I think it just looks nice. Now for the second floor, it's a little bit different in terms of the walls. They're just inversed, so you'll have uh, poles there again, and then instead of having the wall there and then an entrance there, we'll have the... Um, the walls here, but this time you want to build it up one block off the ground instead of two. Then you want to have another oak wood column right here, have another one right there, and then you can just switch out this block for uh, spruce. I'll put uh, oak planks right there, then spruce planks again our windows and then uh, it's the same thing for this wall so I won't do it again but this wall here I'll do it just because you guys can see it you just bring it all the way to the back and uh, build it up five or four blocks high so you do that for this wall this wall and this wall and I'll be right back when all of that is done so now we got uh, the entire thing done well all the walls I mean <laughs> not the entire thing we got all the walls done and then uh, I just realized I could have done this as well, but uh, you want to just fill out this entire thing with spruce planks again. Forgot to mention that, but I'll just do that later. For now, we'll bring out um, another ledge, but this time only one block instead of two. Here, obviously, two, but um, because it's not going to go all the way out. You'll see why in a sec. Um, I'm just going to finish this right here. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to put uh, fence posts, put them all around. This is for the second balcony, and that's the way you get in for the second balcony, by the way. Um, but this time, we won't have them, or no, we will, we will, never mind. We'll have them two blocks high, whoops, just like this, on all the corners. Oof, I'm getting lag. there and there. And now you just want to uh, take your spruce planks and uh, make the ledge because if we would have the uh, fences on the stairs, sorry if you guys heard that, that door slam, my siblings are here to visit me and they're making noise. But uh, yeah, so um, it kind of looks like it's not resting on anything, that's why uh, we bring it back one block. But it still looks pretty good, even though you don't have as much space on the balcony, but uh, whatever. We'll keep this going over here in the back too, just to add a little bit of dimension. And we'll we'll put windows in here later when we do the interior, because I don't really know where they go. <laughs> I'm doing all this by memory, not looking at any pictures or anything. So uh, I'll finish up this roof, and uh, when I get back we'll do the interior. So now we're going to be working on the interior, and uh, to be honest, it's pretty small. I know, you could always make it bigger. Why? Okay, it's on bright. Why is it? Uh, maybe it's just me. Okay, so for the interior, what you want to do is bring out uh, in the corner. So I guess you don't really need to put these planks here after all. You could just take them out if you want to save on resources. But I think you put planks here and here. Like, like that, I think, yeah. You want to take um, spruce wood slabs, put them in the corner here. This gives you a way to get up. Then you want to take uh, oak wood, just like that. We'll pop a hole in the ceiling so we can get out. I don't know how far it's going to go really, so I'm just going to take a little bit of it out. Uh, another column here, and these columns will go all the way to the top of the roof. Let's take that out. Then um, here, I think, something like this, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it just, yeah, so it's a smooth transition. We'll have it like this. 
of that. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Here you want to have another, uh, I can just put this back. You want to have another column because here's outside, okay? Here, um, it's kind of like the doors downstairs, but then you have another one here. So, um, to match with uh, the rest of the house instead of having a normal door. So, yeah. Or, why am I saying house? It's a saloon. So, yeah, you want to have that there and then do the same thing on the other side. Uh, did I put, yeah, I put a block. Like so. And then put another column here. Oh, that's not, that's not oak wood. My bad. Put it like that. And then down here, it's a little bit weird because see how this is, um, it's your floor, but it's also, you know, the, uh, the wall and I don't think it looks really good so we're gonna take that out take that out on both sides and for this what we're gonna do we're gonna have a column like that uh, the column goes all the way up of course like this and then here is kinda like your little uh, desk I guess you could say or like the um where the bartender sort of serves the stuff uh, and then here, I knew I would need stairs. I didn't remember remember why, but uh, you want to take your stairs. And since it looks pretty derpy, I don't think you can remove these blocks. You want to just upside down stair with oak wood. Now you could probably conserve some space by not putting anything here, but I like my walls to be all the same color, just to make it all the same. So it looks pretty good like that. Put some stairs there, and uh, there's your um your staircase right here. And then for windows, what you can do is, hmm, let me see how we're going to do this. Uh, I don't quite remember. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to put uh, two by two windows right here. And we'll replace that there with that. Have them here and also have them um, uh, maybe here. I don't know. I don't even know what I did in my own build. Uh, nope, that's supposed to be a stair. And I completely ruined everything. I'll fix that later. And you can also put, you know, a 2x2 two two window in here if you wanted. Because you can. I can even put one here if I wanted to. Nope, nope, can't put one there. So, three windows here. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna fix this real quick. Uh, right here. And uh, I'm not going to bother doing that on the other side, just the side for now. So now, for the interior, um, what I like to do is put an upside down stair there, upside down stair there, and then one like this in the middle, kind of makes like a counter. And then I like to have a trap door. Uh, did I fix that? No, I didn't. Trap door right here, so you know the bartender can just come here, serve you your, your booze or whatever. God damn it. And uh, yeah, so we'll do it on the other side too, just make everything symmetrical. And there you go. Uh, now for the chairs, we already used two wood, two types of wood that would uh, not look really good. You know, oak, it's already the wall, and then this is spruce. So we're actually going to use birch. But if you wanted to, you could use jungle. But uh, I'm going to use birch. So what I like to do is I like to have also item frames on them just so it gives it a different look, but that's really up to you. So we'll have three here, and then I like to do this. I don't know why. It doesn't look super good, but I don't know. Breaks it up a little. And you know what? Is that? It actually looks like this wood, the same as the chair, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, another three here. Not a trap door. No, no, no. And then um, here, it's kind of see so you can put uh, that there. And then you know what? We're gonna take a pressure plate. What kind do I want? We're gonna take a s no, not a stone, a wood pressure plate. Put it right here for your tables. You know those nice tables everybody make. Stair here, stair here, and then your sounds there so it, it gives it like an angled look when you walk in and there's not too much stuff in the way um, and of course we could make an angled stair here but it sort of ruins the look up here 
if you know what I mean. But uh, so we're not gonna do that. But uh, push plate here, push plate. Oh my God, not there, there. And then stair here, stair there. And then again, your signs, or not your signs, your uh, what's it called? Item frame. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is put fence gates as the doors. You could use doors because um, here I'm gonna show you. You know how in the old west it's kind of like these like wavy patterns. We don't have this here unless you use a texture pack. But uh, it does have the solid at the bottom and then the holes at the top. So you could use this sort of design like this. But I don't really like it. I like it when it's an open feel to it. It has an open feel to it. So I like to do it like that. It's becoming night. So I'm going to go time set zero. And then, yeah. Now for torches, I like to place them kind of specifically. I place them here on the columns. Not there. Uh, I place one... Where is it? Right here, I think. And then two right there. I think that looks pretty good. You can't really see the torches from the outside. Sort of, but not really. So I think it gives it a nice look to it. So um, here I forgot to do something. So I'll do it really quick. We'll take oak. Oak wood and make a corner here. And then we'll put a torch there there and why not here lights up the room pretty nice and uh, let's fix this put more fence gates here some more here and some more here so that looks pretty nice uh, now for the whew, how we're we gonna do this two tables like this right there and then the chairs let me get them back I don't really prioritize what's in my inventory, but who cares? And uh, what else do I need? Oh yeah, item frames. Take your item frame, and then do this. Pop one right there, right there, right there, right there. And uh, now you got a table upstairs. You can put more tables, but I think it looks okay like that. And uh, yeah, that's it for the interior. Now, I forgot to do, oh my god, get out of there. I forgot to do one more thing, the roof. The roof still looks derpy. It's up to you if you want to keep it like that because you can't really see it. But uh, I don't like it too, too much. So I'm going to slab it up all the way to the edge like this. You could slab the entire thing, but uh, for the sake of the video, I won't do it. I'll just do the edge to give you a feel of how it looks like. Um, simply from a uh, bottom view of it. Usually I slab the entire thing. But yeah, so you see a little bit of oak breaks up from uh, having a bunch of spruce. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Now, uh, I forgot to also put uh, windows down here and on this side. But it doesn't really matter. You can put the windows wherever you want. Uh, it's really up to you. But uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and would like to see more western designed buildings from me, Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I'm Benny, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.